Uh, hi, my name's Matthew and I'm a crane designer at J. Barnsley Cranes and I'm just going to show you this short video of how to change or adjust the slipping clutch on one of our hoists. We're in our workshop at the minute and we're going to talk you through how to change a slipping clutch. So we've just got uh, our little arrangement here, we've got our tools, we've got our hoist and we're going to start by removing the cover. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to remove these four pins. So this cover is, what do we call this cover? Is this is the chain hoist cover. Chain hoist cover. Okay. So we're just simple socketed cap screws. Yeah. Nothing complicated about those. Uh, do these normally get torqued up if you have to replace it? Twist and turn. Twist and turn. That's all we need to do there. They're not taking any load as such. No. What they do, remove the cover. Remove the cover off. And it's imperative you put these back in straight away. Okay. Otherwise it all falls apart, is it that right? It all falls apart, yeah. Okay. So that's a highlighted important thing to do. Turn. Right, now we're going to adjust the clutch. Okay. See the tab washer there? Yeah. Going in the tab washer. That's called the tab washer. Yeah. The securing point of that needs to be knocked over using a screwdriver. Okay. And a hammer. A gentle tap down. Yeah. Then using the proper spanner for the nut, clockwise to increase the load. Yeah. Anti-clockwise to decrease the load. Okay. So we're going to turn that up. Yeah. To the next spot. Which is there. Okay, so it's gone round to the next tab. Round, which will increase the... What's it going to increase? The, uh, the load. The load. Yeah. But do you know how much by do we know? It? No. It's a, it's a trial and error kind of opera. Trial and error, yeah. And then what we do then, we knock the next available tab over into the recess of the nut. I'll just... Zoom in there, so that tab's now in there, securing yeah. that nut, which can't go anywhere. Once you've set it to whatever you need to do. Yeah. Then... Take the nuts, the screws out again. Chain cover. Okay. Hold that, lend a hand. Again, a snug. Now as you can see, you probably can't see any hooks or trolleys on this thing. We've just stripped it down to just the hoisting unit. Um, you'll be doing this. Would you want to take this off the job, or would could you do this operation uh, when it's on the trolley beam? It would be wise to adjust it off the trolley beam. Okay. In case if you don't put these back in. Yeah. It's liable to collapse. Okay, so you probably want to take the hoist down at this point to do that um, and then put it onto a flat surface and do uh, carry it out like we've done here now. Um, so what you do now, you put this back on the job and you try uh, a load on it and uh, if it's what you, what you got, what you need, uh, it should be fine and uh, away you go. Uh, if it's not, then you bring it all back down onto a flat surface 
and repeat that procedure. Remember it's clockwise to increase the load and anti-clockwise to decrease the load. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, uh, hopefully we'll have some more videos of us doing other operations as we go on. But this is a real common question from our customers on how to adjust the slipping clutch on a hoist. Thanks for watching. Bye.